Hey everyone, um, as you probably know, I don't make videos on here very much, but today I got a package um, that I'm super excited about, and I just kind of want to share it. Um, so, I got this, and this is from uh, Billy or BM4 on Instagram and on YouTube. Um, he's a friend of mine, he's a great guy, um, and he recently put up a bunch of stuff for sale, um, and a bunch of stuff was that he had that I had been looking for for a long time. Um, and so I bought some stuff for him. And this is uh, as you can, it's a small, small package, but there's a lot of rare stuff in here. It's $89 worth of stuff. So I just kind of want to like share with you guys some of the, the stuff I got here because I'm really excited. There's some super rare and old Citizen Brick and Eclipse Graphics stuff. Um, there's some brick arms. Let's see. Let me get this open. Wow. Look at that. This is incredible. This is so cool. Alright, so first off, I'll show these. These are Brick Arms M27 IAR under molds. So they're for the overmolded version, but when you make the overmolded ones, you have multiple colors and multiple parts and so these sit in the mold and then you inject the other color plastic over here and so oops so i really love these because they're great for um modding um like the barrels um as you can see there they they're really detailed but also if you sand down the ends of them just a little bit they're perfect modcom size so you can put them in modcom holes and then you can have like modcom barrels like these which are super nice. And then the magazines are great because you can like cut them and like use them for whatever, use them in vests, use them on guns. They're awesome. So I got some in black and I got some in gunmetal. He was really nice and gave me a really good deal on these. Really excited to use these for some mods. Those are super cool. Then next up are EG combat legs. These are some old Eclipse graphics um, prints that they did that unfortunately they don't make anymore. But they're some of like the coolest designs. Um, they're just supposed to be like generic um, legs you can use on like any operator or modern military fig or anything. Um, and they're really great. They have like knee pads, um, some pouches, some straps, a pocket, and then boots. And they came in like a bunch of different colors. And I already have a sand green pair, but these go amazing on, like, almost anything. They're great for, like, fig combos and stuff. Um, and they're, like, UV printed, so they're, like, super durable. Um, it's, they're just a great design. So I, I get these whenever I have the chance. I'm always looking for these. Um, so now I have uh, four different colors. Super happy about that. Um, these are really cool. I especially love the dark green one. These are really sick. Yeah, so that that's that. Then next up, show the heads. These are cool. All right, let's see. I'm gonna start with the Citizen Burke heads. So at the top, you can see it's a old uh, Citizen Brick Combat Balaclava head, but it has it's a misprint on lavender, and it's got red goggles. Super cool. Not sure what I'll use it on, but it's a super cool piece. And then this head, it is uh I'm not sure I think I'm not sure what the fig was, but this is a misprint on um medium nougat. And it doesn't have the mustache, like the stubble printing, which I think is really cool. Um, 
So I could use this on like a sig fig head um, as like my sig fig or I could use this on a lot of different stuff. It, it works for a bunch of different things. And I thought it was a really cool head. So I got I got these two. Super cool. Then here are the Eclipse Graphics heads. So there's a few different ones in here. Um, first off, there's this one. This is an older um, print. And this is one that I've been looking for for quite a while. Um, it's got like a camo print on it. Um, but it's on um, medium nougat. So that's really cool for me. Um, so I've been looking for this one for a long time. So super happy he had this super cool head. Really excited to use that on something. Then there's this, which is a uh, breacher head. Um, nothing too special. Newer head, but still pretty cool. Can use it on a bunch of stuff. Oh, cool. This is interesting. Sorry, give me a second. So here, this is probably my all-time favorite um, head design from like any company. These are old um, Eclipse Graphics Tactical Balaclavas. Um, and I collect these. I have them in a bunch of different colors. Or actually, not a bunch. I only have them in light gray, dark gray, and then some tan ones. These are super hard to find nowadays. Um, they're pretty rare. Um, I'm super lucky I could find these. I love the tans. They're super, super cool. And I don't know if you can see on camera, but there is one that has uh, like a blue lens and one that has like a gray or almost greenish lens. So that's super cool. So I'll have to look at my other ones. I think my other ones have the blue lens. But that's just, these are so cool and I love these heads. They work great for like any like modern or futuristic military guys. Um, but then on the back, there's another one. So it looks like this was probably maybe a test print or like, um, maybe, yeah, they probably, Victor was probably like testing this print. Um, and maybe this like came on like a clippy day fig, but this doesn't matter because you know, the back won't be showing anyway, cause it'll be like under a helmet or anything, but super cool. Super happy to get these. And then the last two heads are these. And, um, uh, I think these are from. I don't play Call of Duty, but I'm pretty sure that's what these are from. Um, they're based off uh, the different teams from Call of Duty. Um, just some like balaclavas. But the cool thing is um, you see these on, uh, usually see these with white printing on black heads. But these ones are black printing on tan heads, which I just thought like the colors like really looked neat and they just really looked cool. Um these are also Eclipse Graphics, older Eclipse Graphics. So I decided to grab those because they're super cool. And then the last thing I got in here, which I'm super happy about, is this ModCom saw. So uh, ModCom was like a, a thing Will experimented with a while ago. Um, and eventually he decided not to do it, but... They're super cool, and the whole point of them is is there's different mod modular parts, and you can see there's a hole in one end, and then, like, there's a pin, and you put them together, and you can, like, make guns. Like, there's receivers, there's hand guards, there's stocks, there's optics. Um, super cool, but this is the rarest, probably the rarest ModCom there is, the ModCom saw parts, um, and I have a lot of ModCom, but I didn't have a saw and Billy was super generous, and he gave these to me, actually. I didn't have to pay for these. So that was super nice of Billy, and I'm super grateful for that. Um, but, yeah, these are super cool. And I'm going to go grab some of my other parts and, like, show you what I can do with them. All right, so I went and grabbed some of my other mod comp saw parts. Um, I grabbed some of my gunmetal parts. These ones aren't as rare. They're actually pretty common. But the receiver and the hand guards are what are really rare. Um, so... I'm, I would thought I'd just show you um, some things you want to do. You don't have to, but I like to do it um, when you get ModCom. Is the holes can be, the pins can be like a little big. And they can make stretch marks on the um, like parts you put in them. So what I always like to do 
is I just like to sand them just a little bit just to take off a little material just to make sure they fit a little better and don't leave stretch marks in the plastic because when they leave stretch marks in the plastic it they it like has like a white white lines in it and it just doesn't look as cool it doesn't look as clean um, so I like to just make sure I sand them a little and make sure it's a nice snug fit but it's not too tight um, where it's going to be actually damaging and stretching out the plastic so I here I just have some like really fine sandpaper and I'm just going on the pin and just carefully sanding down the pin a little bit now let's see if that was enough I think I'm gonna want to do a little more I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna come back to this when I'm done alright so I sanded down the pegs a little bit um and so I'm gonna show you what you can do with the mod com so you have the receiver um, and then of course, the, just the normal Brick Arms box magazine that it comes with. Actually, I'm not going to put that in there because it seems a little tight. Maybe I'll sand this down. Um, I'll probably, yeah, I'll probably sand that down later just so it fits a little better without potentially stressing the plastic. Um, but you have the receiver and the handguard, and you just put the handguard on the receiver like so. Then I have my barrel. Just put the barrel right there. Then the optic. Like that. And the stock. Like that. So see, that's what you can do with the mod com. It's pretty cool. Um, it's a lot. One thing I do notice about it is it's quite a bit longer than the normal ModCom saw. Or, I'm sorry, the normal saw. Um, and, I, and I'm not sure why that is, um, but it still looks awesome. It's super cool. You know, you can take it apart, put these on different guns, um, make different, like, mods really easy like that. Um, but super cool. Um, that's it uh, for today. Thank you for watching. Um, please go check out and um, consider following my Instagram account. It's SamTheLegoMan108 if you aren't already. I'll see you guys next time.